Our sun lights up like a Christmas tree this week. As we take a look at our Earth-facing disk, we only have about five active regions in Earth view, but all of them are big flare players, and the X factor comes from region 3078, which has fired more than eight uh, big flares just since August 15th. You can actually see the sun kind of lighting up like a little paparazzi bulbs flashing everywhere. Now this region down here, it's actually launched solar storms. Pretty much every time you see a big flash, there's a big solar storm that's being launched along with it. And these solar storms are partly Earth directed. So we actually at this point have a huge chain of solar storms that are going to be washing over Earth in waves from about now, because we're actually getting hit by the first one now through about the 20th as of this moment in time. In fact, when we take a look at coronagraphs, you can actually see all of these solar storms just since about the 14th being launched one after the other after the other, with the largest one being on the 17th. This one is also Earth-directed, and early uh, predictions say it's going to hit Earth right around midday on the 20th. So Aurora photographers expect to get a big show easily over the next few days, just on and on and on as these uh, storms continue to wash over us. Now, as we take a look at our far-sided sun, this is Stereo A, and it's looking at the sun just a little bit from the side. You can see region 3078 just lighting up down there in, in the southwest from Stereo's view. And luckily, as we look beyond it, you see the other regions are reasonably quiet. So thank goodness, after this big X, player rotates off of the Earth, off of Earth view in about you know, four days or five days from now, things should quiet down. And that means amateur radio operators and anyone doing radio traffic for space comms, all of that should finally quiet down. I would not be surprised if some launches got delayed just simply because of the radio bursts and all that that noise in the radio frequencies that happen with these big flare players. So just hang on and things will get better. I promise. For more details on this week's space weather, including how that big X-Flare player might affect you, come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.